Hello everybody, it is your girl Bria Van Kooten and I am back with a new video. Yes, it is now 1.24 a.m. I am up. As you guys can read by the title, I am doing the Ariana Grande. <laughs> Thank you, next album review. I am hype. I just finished listening to the album. Literally just finished. Literally clicked the camera. So I'm here, ready to film. If you guys want to hear what I have to say, my first reaction, first listen, first impression, literally, because I literally just finished listening to it. Definitely stay tuned for the video and let's get right into Hello everybody, it's your girl Bria Van Kooten and I am back with a new video. So, it is six months later. Six months ago we got Sweetener and now six months later we're getting Thank You Next. Like, sis literally said thank you next to Sweetener. Like, <laughs> she literally said, yeah, thank you for the, for, thank you for the, all the things I got for Sweetener. Thank you guys for enjoying the album. Thank you guys for listening, but thank you next. We are in this era, we in this new album, it's 2019, and we got Thank You Next. I am hype. As usual with my album reviews, you know, I like to get into the album cover. So, we got the Thank You Next album cover. Really simple, really to the point, like nothing crazy. A pink background, um, a pink frame, might I say, with her in the middle. Um, upside down. She liked this upside down thing because Sweetener album cover <laughs> was upside down too. She likes this upside down thing. So yeah, her upside down. I see like a black, I don't know if it's a black top, black dress, but black strappy cleavage coming out. Okay, I see you sis. With some like, I don't know what the, what the like wording is on her chest, but like some wording, cleavage, black lips, you know, real rebel real like f you thank you next we moving on of course the signature pony like signature ponytail you already know you ready to how Ari gives it up it says parental advisory thank you next blah 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 it's like this album is covered simple it's to the point it's cute she looks great nothing crazy you already know the first song is imagine which is was one of the singles that Ari already released so pretty much we heard it Imagine is beautiful like I never talked about it here on my channel So now I have the opportunity to just say imagine is beautiful. She sounds amazing She sounds oh my god. It's just so soothing and sexy and just oh like the first beat like let's you know we got we have to listen to some of the, the music because it wouldn't be a brief closet album review without it so like that like it's just so simple but then just so like <clears throat> it's just like you know the song is about to be just sexy like as soon as you hear that <laughs> like it just sounds bomb and then like i said her vocals like vocally she was just she the first song and she's giving you vocals because she wants the girls to know i can sing like i've been doing this i've been singing like this is nothing new she gave y'all vocals then basically the song is imagine a world without cameras and social media where we can be together cameras and i in our face because like in she's saying before we the pre-chorus she's saying click 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 and post so you know no social media no paparazzi it's just us me and you kiss me take off my clothes like take off your clothes <laughs> look at me kiss me take off your clothes like just us together living in the world with no outside people watching in on what we got going on so it's a great message and i love this song so and then just the 
we have to get into what she says to imagine a world like that, like the smoothness of that part. Like her voice just sounds so smooth. Like there's no, like obviously I know they went through editing and stuff, but even when she sung it live, it was just so smooth. Like it's just smooth. Ugh. Second verse, no, we were perfect. After the first kiss, took a deep breath, like ooh. And that echo on the ooh, I was just like, ah, like this song is beautiful. And then the key change at the end, the can you hold. And then the high notes, wait. People were saying when I watched like reviews, they said they didn't know if like they recorded one and then it just, they kept like um, adding it to the track, but no, you can hear the difference. She didn't, she recorded that multiple times. The hear the, the change in the key and the pitch, like she definitely recorded that multiple times. It wasn't just one time, so. I love this song. It is beautiful. Definitely top five on the album, period. And we get into song number two, which was Needy. It's basically self-explanatory with the title. She's saying, I can be needy, so hard to please me. Um, she's basically apologizing for needing a lot. Passionate, but I give no fucks. Like, <laughs> I love, 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 like, when artists just don't care and they just express themselves like they don't care what they say especially when you get to this point in your career you can ex um you can just say what you want and just explain and write music just on what you love because you know in the beginning of your career career you have to really follow what the industry and what your label wants but when you get to a point in your career where you can just be like f this I can sing what I want, record what I want, write what I want. She actually writes her music as well. She's in the writing process. Give us music that she loves and that she wants and that she cares about. So I love that. Um, then she's, it's basically a simple beat. It's nothing crazy, a simple beat and rhythm, nothing crazy. And she's not saying that being needy is bad. She's saying like, it feels good to be needy. <laughs> like it's nothing bad about it. Like it's okay to need and want something. Then we move on to number three, which I literally hopped up out of my bed. I was I had my ear pods in, listening to the album. I'm laying back and this song made me hop up because when it gets to the pre-chorus to the chorus with the N-A-S-A -A spelling NASA and all that. So yeah, we get to number three. This is NASA. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into it because I have the first note I have is the beat change at the beginning. So let's get into that. You don't really know where it's about to go when it's in that beginning um, stage. Um, so yeah, then this is where I jumped up when you got to the chorus. So yeah, let's get into that. Expect that change. Like I was like, okay, it's going smooth. I did not expect that. It, it's it's like I'm the universe and you the N A S A. Boom. Like. <laughs> I was like, yes, Ari, come on, Miss Grande. Like, give me, give me something. Give me something to jump about and be excited about. Like, I was here for it. So, yeah, that beat change was fire. And then she said, um, give me the world and I'm gonna need space. You know I'm a star. So, obviously, self-explanatory. The song is called NASA. Uh, give you the world, I'm gonna need space. You know I'm a star. It's like you're in my universe. You'll be the N A S A. I'm the universe. You're NASA, baby. Like you're NASA. You're N A S A. I'm the universe. Let's get into number four, which is Bloodline. Definitely Bloodline. When you get into the chorus of Bloodline, it definitely gives a Caribbean vibe. And at the end, take this part. So definitely a Caribbean with a pop vibe. You already know a lot of artists have been putting the Caribbean flavor in the mix with their pop and hip hop. So a lot of artists is doing this like Caribbean, Caribbean zhuzh. They're giving a Caribbean vibe to the music. This song is definitely very catchy. It's very catchy, gives Caribbean vibes, but it's one of those songs that I still feel like I'm gonna listen to it over and over and then it's gonna grow on me even more but definitely it's very catchy the vibes it was already giving me i was like i already know i'm gonna get into it even more but like i said this is my first listen this is my first reaction this is what i'm 
getting from it. It said, don't want you in my bloodline. I'm not trying to make you mine. I'm just trying to have a good time. She, basically, I don't want nothing serious. We're just playing right now. Don't want you all up in my mix. Don't want you in my bloodline. Like, I don't, like, we good. We see each other. We right here. We having a good time. All right. Bye. <laughs> then we get into the next song, which is Fake Smile. Again, another self-explanatory song. She's saying, I can't fake another smile. I, can say, I can't say I'm all right. Fuck or fake smile. Basically, I don't want to be fake anymore. I don't want to say I'm okay when I know I'm not really okay. I don't want to smile for this camera. Like, I'm good on that. Um, basically said, what after what I've been through. Again, she reminds us that she's been through a lot. <laughs> she has been saying that a lot um, in the songs, like the two previous songs. She has been saying that a lot. She said it in like Thank You Next and um, Seven Rings. I really, really like this song. Like, I really, really like this song a lot. Especially with the lyrics. Like, when you have a lyrical, a lyrical um, song, it's always great because you get to, you're listening and you want to hear what the story and what the artist is giving you. She gets into like talking about rumors she heard about herself. Um, and she's saying it's the life that she chose and she's happy with the love. So she's happy with her fans. She's happy with the love that she gets. But of course, it gets annoying when you hear rumors about yourself and people are trying to be in your business <laughs> and saying what you got, what you got going on, but they don't really know what's going on. So, and then the best part of the song, she said, neck roll with attitude. I was like, <laughs> I could just picture her in the studio, like neck roll with attitude, you know, roll, just <laughs> a little hood. So I really was saying with the ponytail too. Cause like, imagine long ponytail, long nails, so just neck roll. Like, I was like, I could live. Like, if she do a video for that, I could see her doing some shit like that. Like, then we get into number six, which is Bad Idea. Um, this song I wrote, it has to grow on me. First listen, it was a eh, I don't know. It out of the whole album, this one song was the one song I really wasn't feeling, I really didn't care for. So this is my least favorite song on the album, so yeah, we're gonna move right along to number seven, which. I wish I could y'all right now, but everybody in my house is sleeping, so I can't even y'all. But this song, number seven, Makeup. Makeup is a bop, literally. As soon as it starts, we're gonna get into it. We have to listen to it. We have to listen to Makeup. Even this is like, ooh. Did you hear that, you like? Aria, give it to me, girl. Give it to me. This is what I want. This is the juice I want. This is the stuff I want. Like, give it to me. Serve it up for me. Like, ugh. I was just here for that. Like, she definitely redeemed herself from that idea because I was like, that song was just a bad idea. <laughs> like, that was just a bad idea. So, she redeemed herself from that. Makeup was a bop. So basically, I guess it's like storytelling because you go from bad idea to uh, I'm making up with you. So it gives a little story and I don't really care for the song, but yeah. Um, and then I say it's a play on words for makeup because obviously she say it. Um, I like to fuck with you just to make up with you the way you be screaming my name. Like we fight in just to make up. And then she gets into I love it when we make up, go heavy with my makeup. So she is giving like a play on words, like we fight, we make up, but go heavy on my makeup. And then she gives a line where she says, you're the highlight of my life, like that fancy beauty kit. So <laughs> it's like a play on words, like making up, we're making up, but also this face is beat, okay? This face is beat, honey. Go heavy on my makeup, because don't mess up my makeup because like, thank you next. Like, thank you next. <laughs> Basically, like, um, so yeah. I definitely, this song is definitely a bop. Definitely a song that I'm going to be listening to over and over and over. Get into number eight, which is Ghostin. This song is a ballad. So, it's definitely a more slowed down part of the album. I really like this song. Like, I really, I just, I love ballads. You can hear the artist vocally. You can hear the lyrics that they're delivering to you. You really focus on just 
everything because it's just slow it's steady there's not too much going on in the beat and the rhythm you really focus on the lyrics and the vocals so like i said it's a ballad she said i know that it breaks your heart when i cry again over him instead of ghosting him you know the song's called ghosting i'm a girl with a whole lot of baggage you know again she reminds you i've been through a lot i have a lot of, a lot of baggage you know this this do you do you want this not so you know um i see him in my sleep you've been so understanding and i'm putting you through what no one should so basically listening to this song i don't want to drag it or grow conclusions but it sounds like her relationship with pete davidson and mac miller because she's saying you've been so understanding I know that it breaks your heart when I'm cry again over him instead of ghosting him. So I feel like when she, cause her and Mac Miller was together for a while. Then when she got with Pete, it was like she, I feel like she was still not 100% over Mac Miller, but it was like that relationship was toxic. So she had to move on. And then she got engaged to Pete and it was like she moved on and Mac ended up dying. So then I feel like that also is why her and Pete broke up because it was like she couldn't deal with that and she just didn't want to be with anybody else. So I feel like this was a song that she wrote around that time. That's what I was getting. And of course, the song's called Ghosting. You know, Mac Miller died. Ghost. Ghosting. I see him in my sleep. So <laughs> that was like the conclusions that I pulled from listening to this song. But nonetheless, the song is beautiful. And then at the end, then she's singing. She sounds amazing. I love ballads. I really love ballads. Like, then we get into number nine, which was in my head. And I was just like, come on, vocals. Like, vocals. Like, give me vocals, Ari, because we know you can sing. We know you got the voice. So just serenade me. Serenade me, sis. So, um, yeah, we're going to place because when she gets into it was all in my head. Scoop, scoop. That part I was not expecting to scoop, scoop. I was like, <laughs> come on, Migos. <laughs> I was like, okay, Migos, come on. But them vocals with the all in my head, I was like, she definitely went her head voice for the all in my head part. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so the skew skew that that was I wasn't expecting that part that I wasn't expecting Um, so basically the song is saying I had a vision. My imagination is too creative Um, thought you were the one but it was all in my head. So like basically meeting a guy dating somebody but He isn't what you really thought it was all in your head you Thought he was that person you saw potential in him being that person which a lot of people make in, in mistakes in relationships. Like, let that person be. Don't put what your vision of that person in your head to like create a person that's not really in front of you. <laughs> like that spoke to me. I felt that. You know when it be like, when that person said, I felt like I literally felt that. Like, let that person show you who he, he or her is. Don't create a person in your head because you're gonna be let down when that person when you actually see that person and see all that stuff that you thought in your head is not really true so she said i invented you gucci tennis shoes i was like <laughs> i don't know i love when people talk that shit like talk that shit tell me that you tell me that you created me like yeah all these bitches is my sons i was like okay come on i invented you come on nikki <laughs> I love shit talking, so I was here for that. So yeah, like I said, um, so yeah, and then at the end it's a little trappish. Yeah, it gives a little trap vibe. I love this song, guys. You already know if you watched my video reaction to this video, you already know how I feel about this song. I love this song for first listen. I felt like that Michael Jackson meme that was like, I love this song in like the first two seconds. <laughs> that is literally how I felt, but I love Seven Rings. Like that is my song, definitely. Um, so basically, you already know we got my favorite things: the sample, sound, and music. One of my favorite movies, especially when I was a child. I literally used to watch this movie. Like, and that's how I knew. Like, I was meant to for this music life. Like, I love music so much. My degrees in music, so I knew. That's, I should have known from then. That's when I met for this music life. But I watched, I literally watched that movie. Not even, probably like every other weekend. Like, 
I love this movie so much. I knew all of the songs. Like, I would sing along with the characters. Like, that's when I really knew I could remember songs and remember lyrics and sing it back. And Sound of Music was literally one of those movies that helped me with learning music and singing. So, when I heard that, I was just like, ah. And then it was trapatized, sound the music trapatized. Julie Andrews is quaking. <laughs> I just love this song because it's just flossing your shit. Like I love when celebrities, well not celebrities, but musicians, artists, singers, when they get to a certain level in their career and they can just floss their shit and say what they have and say they can afford this and they could buy this. Like floss your shit. Tell me all the stuff that you worked for. Let me know how hard you work and what you got, where you at. Like, tell me. Floss. Floss. You deserve it. You earned the right because you came this far in your career. And now is the time that you can just let it all out. Talk your shit. Let me get into my one of my favorite lines in the song. Wearing a ring but ain't gonna be no misses. It's like, yes. But matching diamonds for six of my bitches. I'd rather sport all my friends with my riches. Like... I got my friends. I'm good. Like, thank you, next. Like, then my next one of my other favorite lines. Happiness is the same price as red bottoms. Like, whoever said money can't solve your problems must not have haven't had enough money to solve them. Like, come for me. Come for my bank account, sis. You don't have enough money to solve your problems. <laughs> Yo, I love her. Like, that was that line. Oh, I love it. Um, and then one of my next favorite lines, I bought a crib just for the closet, both his and hers. I don't need no nigga. Thank you, next. I bought the crib just for me, his and hers. Ain't no guy moving in here. I bought the crib just for me, his and hers. I want it. I got it. My last favorite line, like, you like my hair? Gee, thanks. I just bought it. Like, yo. And this song is a bop. You just have to dance. You want to shake your ass. Like, when this comes, when I go out and I hear this, I'm going to go off. Like, I'm going to, I haven't heard it yet since I've been out, but <sighs> it's running on my pressure right now because this song is just a bop. Like, I literally be on the train just like, my skin is gleaming. The way it shine. Like, ah. Let's go on to the next one because I can talk about this song over and over because there's just so many lines, so many parts that you just be like, yo, you have to catch everything like from the beginning. Breakfast at Tiffany's and bottles of bubbles. Like, she's telling you the story of how she went to Tiffany's and bought seven rings for her and six of her friends and spent guap with her friends. Like, <sighs> I love a flossing ass bitch that's telling me that she's spending money on herself for her friends, living her best life. Like... I don't need these niggas. Thank you, next. I have my own money. Ugh. Anywho, then I went on to the next song that you guys know again. Thank you, next. Again, another video review I did on my channel. I told you guys how much I love this song. It's a bop. Talking about her relationships, I thought, um, and talking about her relationships, what they taught her. But, you know, you taught me that. I'm thankful, but you know, thank you, next time to move on um so yeah again she talked about spending time with her friends she loves her friends i love a queen who loves her friends like beyonce said my friends were friends better than your friends my friends are goals your friends are foes like tell me how tell me about your friends tell me <laughs> let me know how right or die they are so spending time with my friends ain't worried about nothing ain't worried about none of y'all ain't worried about you niggas like i got my like, friends i'm good so, and then I love that because the first verse talks about that. And then we move into the second verse that talks about her loving herself. And I love that she included that in the song because it's teaching girls and guys, um, love yourself and have a relationship with yourself and that you're happy with yourself. So then you can have a relationship with somebody else. So I love that she said, um, I have a new relationship. Her name is Ari and I'm so good with that. Like I'm fine with myself, I'm happy with myself. So that second verse always like touches me a little. I'm like, mm -hmm. like I love that Ari. Um, and then one of my favorite parts of the song, like the hook when she's saying, uh, walk down the aisle, holding hands with my mama. I'll be thanking my dad because he's he she grew from the drama. She said, I only want to do it once real bad. Make that shit last. <laughs> this always I don't know why this always makes me giggle. She said, God forbid something happens. At least this song is a smash. 
but she's still like thank you next like yes i do want to get married when i'm walked on the aisle i want to make it just one time but you know what if, if that'll work you know i got some smash songs i got some hits i got some good albums you know i'm good <laughs> like yo i live for this line because i always be joking about when i divorced my first husband and i become a cool girl like 45 like <laughs> so ari was just i'm just i was just here for it like we have to be friends like honestly ari i don't know if any of your team anybody i we have to be friends because you know we're the same age group she was just born in june i was born in july but we both 25 we about to be 26 this year ari hit me up sis because yeah hit me up but yeah now we move on to the last song the song i've been waiting for break up with your girlfriend i'm bored a whole mood a whole bop definitely everything that i wanted because i was like this song better be about the fact that the title is called break up with your girlfriend i'm bored i was just like this song has to be a bop because i already love it and i didn't even hear that one thing because the title is just everything so again storytelling because he said thank you next but you know what thank you next thank you next but you know what you know what break up with your girlfriend i'm, I'm kind of bored you know i moved on from those those other guys but i'm i'm bored right now break up with your girlfriend i take your nigga like <laughs> storytelling again storytelling at its finest so yeah get into the last song um i already said i'm bored i'm with your nigga i'm bored so um yeah basically i just had high hopes for this song so i was like ari better not disappoint me she better not so yeah the first line the first thing i heard took me out i literally paused the song we're gonna get into the song let's get into it we have to and that's when i was like <laughs> pause 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 wait a goddamn minute this is it one effing look at your face i want to know how it tastes <laughs> i said oh. wait a goddamn minute ariana grande grande wait i was like hold on <laughs> this is how we giving it up sis yes. yes give me what i want give me what i want <sighs> so i had to pause it came back and she said i realized she's right there and I'm like, damn, this ain't fair. And then when it gets to the next verse, it's, the guy is saying, damn, I realized that she's there. But he don't got the same kind of energy at home that Ari's giving him. So he's kind of like ready to risk it all for Ari. So I was like, okay, sis. And she says, break up with your girlfriend because I'm bored. You can hit it in the morning like it's yours. Okay, sis, heard you, heard you. I know it ain't right, but I don't care. Like, Ariana, you are reckless, sis, like reckless, but I am living, like I was living for that. I don't care. I know it's wrong, but I dead don't care, like whatever. <laughs> then this one I had to pause it again because she said practically on my knees <laughs> but I know I shouldn't think about it oh, wait a good few minutes on a grande stop playing <laughs> reckless I'm practically on my knees <laughs> okay yo y'all was like bitch just bitch just give me what i want because this song i had high hopes for so just give it to me sis give it to me like i knew this would be a bop i knew this would be my shit like i got i just felt the energy to through my phone through the song list through the track list i just felt the energy this is gonna be my mood mood all 2019 <laughs> nah <laughs> are we about to have us out here acting crazy okay but summer 2019 mood like nah but anywho that song is a rap i i'm living but yeah that is it 
<laughs> for my thank you next album review overall i really 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 like the album like i really like the album like i said this is my first listen first impression but first impression i really like the album the only song i don't care for which was a bad idea but bad idea like that can go screw screw to the left to the left don't care for that song but every other song was a bob to me for my first listen definitely obviously i'm gonna listen to it again to get the I know some parts that I missed, some lines I missed, some things I missed, so I have to listen to it again. But like I said, it's the first time I'm listening, but overall, I really like the album. Um, I can't really say it was worth the wait because we didn't really wait for it. It was nothing that we asked for, but it was something that we needed and didn't even know we needed. Because <laughs> I was satisfied with Sweetener. Like, Sweetener was... Sweetener was a bop like sweetener is everything so i was here for sweetener i'm still here for sweetener i still listen to that album over and over and over like i said it was only six months ago not even a year yet so the fact that when she thank you next imagine bop thank you next bop then seven rings bop and then she said new album february 8th i'm like bitch give me time to breathe i still got diabetes from sweetener like girl <laughs> so the, it was something that I didn't know that I wanted and needed, but now I know that I am here for it. So thank you, next. I'm gonna give it a bop. I'm definitely gonna give it a bop. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed this review. If you did, you already know, give it a thumbs up. Comment below, all my Ari fans, comment and put, uh, let's see. What we gonna put? What we gonna put? Let's put the the pink emoji with the two hearts. You know, we gonna with the pink te pink theme, pink vibes. Let's do that. Put that in the comment. And of course, if this is your first time watching my channel, you would like hit that subscribe button right down there. It'd be greatly appreciated. Like this video, share it if you would like. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Follow me on all my social medias at Bria Van Kooten, Twitter, Instagram at Bria Van Kooten, and check out my blog www.briascloset.com. Closet with a K. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm about to go film a reaction review to her new music video. I think it's for Break Up with Your Girlfriend. I'm bored. I'm about to go click over now because I was just so focused on filming this that I didn't even focus on the video. But so once you're done watching this album review, click over in the cards, watch my video reaction. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys in that video. So head over there. So peace, love, deuces.